impressive. Only a sophomore, Eiko Parra, seems to be struggling with a little niggling injury here. Here's Skalowski now. He's got Tracy at the top of the box. Goes down, not going to get a call. Well, Ohio State has been everywhere when it comes to sports. Football, basketball, trying to get it done last year, didn't? Maybe the Ohio State men's soccer team is going to set the tone for the Buckeyes on the gridiron. We are approaching the 10-minute mark. Turn of events here in the second half. Wake Forest found their center forward, Marcus Tracy, Ohio State. At 0-4 against Wake Forest. Xavier Balk now. Bruner. Balk will swing it in. Opara gets up. Roger Espinosa with a high kick to the head of Valentin. Emotions flying everywhere now between Ohio State and Wake Forest. The yellow card has been issued to the Buckeyes number 27. Espinosa has the goal for Ohio State. And we'll pick up a yellow card for the high kick. A little bit of see how high he goes actually. It's about as high as you can go. <laughs> Catches Valentin in the face. I mean Nobody pulling out. <laughs> Two very brave players wow. there. None of them pulling out of he that. He's got to get a yellow card for that. I hope he's not hurt. Let's see if he's got it. He's nice bleeding cut. pretty bad. Reckless with the leg up that high. Man, oh man. Now this is a challenge now for Wake Forest with their captain out. Playing a man down. They got to assess his injury here. He's their inspirational leader. And what they're going to do is they're going to drop Phelan back in as a center back next to Alpara. Let's go down to Quint Kessnick. Glenn, uh, Jules Valentin bleeding profusely, profusely from the forehead. Uh, but the key is they can't put him back on the field until he stops bleeding. He's yelling at the trainers, get me on, get me on, get me on. Very frustrating for him right now. Well, they've got the absolute perfect compliment, though, to drop Phelan in, who's going to start as a center back during the year. So he has dropped in as a center back, and it looks like Wake Forest is going to try and bring on another player just to get 11 bodies out there and then 10 to Julian Valentin. We really couldn't tell how bad that was from Espinosa, but it's that's a good cut trying to get that thing. Boy, that's Boy he got him good. Very serious. Buck. Headed away by Tracy. You know, at first look, you didn't realize how high it is. Kalowski, got up on him. can he get there? He gets knocked down. Leitchum is off his line. And an Ohio State player down now. So some critical minutes here left as we head towards the national championship. Let's take a look at that again. Man, you, get, you know, at first look, you couldn't tell that his face popped back like that, but those are studs, man. Now I understand why LaHood was so upset. Headed away here is Espinosa. <laughs> Ohio State will get a free kick. Within and wow, around, just a little more than that. eight minutes left, but... Oh, that is one tough kid. Xavier Bach stands over this free kick. Lake Forest is trying to get Cody Arno in the game. Because they're still playing a man down. They still have not made their sub. Now they do. So they got the full complement of 11 here to try and defend this lead and win the national championship. ...comes in to replace the injured number four, Julian Valentin. Ball plays it short. It's Bruner, and he's got power. Blocked by LaHood. Takes an awkward bounce in behind some Wake Forest players all the way back to Brian Edwards. 
It is the NCAA Men's College Cup Final in Cary, North Carolina. We are at the South Soccer Park. Glenn Davis, Eric Winalda, Quint Kesnick. And both teams seeking their first ever NCAA Men's Soccer Championship. Ohio State had the 1-0 lead in the first half. Wake Forest, turn of events here in the second. Our seven minutes and two seconds away from winning it. Substitution for the Buckeyes. Well, started off like this. Wake Forest here in the second half. Cody Arno. As, as close as you can get to being out. Great forward. Finding another great forward in that near post. And then same spot. Nothing that Latsum can do about it. Two terrific goals in the second half for Wake Forest. Well, you got the sense that to get a goal initially against Ohio State, it was going to take something that was extra special and precise. And boy, that first goal certainly was. Marcus Tracy it was not a factor in the first half. Emerging in the second half. Here he is now. Gets up with Bruner. Bruner wins the header. by Stanowski, right in front of the Wake Forest fans. Zach Shilowski. This first day is the same, and that side is going to absolutely erupt. Man, is that a bad shot. My apologies for actually laughing at, at that first look on that. Didn't realize that how high Espinosa had gone and how bad he caught him. Sam Cronin will clear. Just basically got the uh, studs right across the face. Julian Valentin, the inspirational leader for Wake, is off. Headed out by O'Connor. Sam Cronin will knock it towards Shalowski. It's a foot race here. Shalowski's going to win it. He's got He's Tracy wide open. open. Tracy is wide open. Lake him off his line. And they got... I don't I think he missed. the side netting. He missed it. It could have been game, set, match. Marcus Tracy missed an empty net. Gets past Latcham because Latcham was helpless once he got. It did just nick the post and go wide. Fooled a lot of people in this stadium. Uh, fortunate for the Wake fans, they were in the perfect spot to see that it wasn't a goal, so they didn't have any uh, disillusions about it. Ohio State lives on for a few more minutes, maybe. Zach Shilowski. And Adams towards the corner flag, gives it away. Julian Valentin, their emotional center back, has gone off injured, cut to the face. They've pulled Fallon back into the middle to try and defend this lead. Wake Forest trying to win a national championship here in Cary, North Carolina. And a late challenge by Bruner there. Been another one. I think Brown, once he realized he was. I don't think, I don't think either one of these was actually, you know, deliberate. But it's the second time we've seen a high, high kick to the face. That wasn't even his face. You know, I don't, I, I actually don't like that. When, when they grab their face, when they don't get hit in the head. Brian Edwards off the long ball to Tracy. Chalowski will make it through. Oh, what a save, Latcham, who's keeping his team in it. Ohio State's goalkeeper just kept him in it for another couple minutes. Now, <laughs> Wake Forest in no hurry to take this corner. Three minutes and 25 seconds left. These two teams don't like each other. It's very clear. The loose short corner is blocked. Steven Traeger also in now for Ohio State. What goes through the mind of John Bloom right now with three minutes and eight seconds left? 